Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I am going to demonstrate if you would like to create an issue to instance by using AWS Code Pipeline, then how we can do that. That part today I am going to demonstrate. Okay guys, what we are going to do by using this today's demo, like we are going to deploy one web application by using AWS Code Pipeline. Okay guys, so let's move on to the AWS console. So I have already logged in here. I am in the Virginia region. And so to, for today's demo, what we are going to do is like we are going to create a code build code. Like if you would like to manage your code, like a Git, we have like other, other than AWS, right? If you want to manage your code, then we have like source codes management system like a Git, GitHub kind of thing, right? But in AWS, how we can manage our source code, that part also I am going to demonstrate here. Like, okay guys, so I will not go deep details about this code commit. So if you want to more details about this code commit, all these things, then I will request you guys, please refer my previous video where I have already demonstrated in deep details about this code commit and then how you can locally access. Or if you want to push your code from local to your git commit, then how we can do that. Those part I have already demonstrated. Okay, for today's demo, let's move create in the UI and deploy here itself. Okay, so let's give that uh, repo name cloud tech code commit. Okay, and let's keep everything as it is. And let us do this now. Our repo is created, and if you want to create a file here, let us create a file. So, let's first. So today's like AWS pipeline, right? Today's demo, what we are going to do, build spec, we are up to create one build spec file. So let's create that build spec.yaml. Okay, guys. And let us come here, give the file name, and then let's give the content. What basically content? Build spec basically, like by using this, we are giving the AWS code build. This kind of instruction uh, like uh, install our required dependent software like in, in our demo we need the python uh, uh, the environment runtime environment and then we are going to install the boto3 api so we are giving that instruction also let's install the boto3 then we are saying okay run this come uh, or run this python file okay guys like create is it so let's copy this and paste over here and then we need to specify the name like cloud take something like that at gmail dot okay and if you want you can specify the commit message also like uh, or if you don't want you don't need to provide here it's a kind of optional okay let's commit this one and let us create one more file here so let me add that to also here let's go here add file create file or you can upload also from your local up to you okay so do dot python and then let's put the content also so create issue to what i am going to do here is like first i am importing the boto3 api which we are installing by using our build spec and logging this is the default features on base 64 i am going to use to specify our user data it's one way we can say if you would like to uh, like uh, uh, how we can give the user data if you would like to put or if you want to create a instance by using python then how we can pass the user data that also we are going to demonstrate here okay guys so user data we need to in, like import the base 64 so that is what i have done here and then ec2 instance basically we are going to create ec2 client and then we need to provide the image id image id is nothing but our ami id this i have copied from aws then how we can go get this one let me show you that so let us come here in the issues to console okay guys so if you go to the ec2 console here we have one option ami okay guys and in that ami we have like a if you see right ami catalog also we have and where we have our marketplace ami okay guys Quick. Here we have some of the thing and if you want you can specify only I need filters so which are our filter that will display and here is the AMI ID we can copy from here. Okay guys I have copied the AMI ID then I have already security group which security group that we can see here this is my security group I have specified and also we need the key pair so I have specified this key pair and another thing I need that 
like uh, which subnet or which VPC you are going to deploy. Okay, guys. So that part you can get from the VPC console. Let's go to the VPC. And if you come here, here we have one option subnet. Okay, guys. So if you specify the subnet, then subnet ID basically. So this is the subnet ID. If you click here, it will be, you can copy the subnet ID. Okay, guys. These are the part I have already mentioned here. If you see AMI. And also, guys, keep in mind one more thing, like instance type. If you are in a few tires and you are for learning purpose, you are doing right, then keep in mind this instance type. Otherwise, if it is a, it's a chargeable, right, on-demand basis, right? If you select them like a high CPU, high volume, those kind of instance, right, then it will be more charge. And then subnet and user data, which I have specified here, what we are going to do here, we are installing the Apache server. And then we are deploying one HTML page like a AWS CI CD code pipeline demo. Deploy a web application. Okay, guys. And that is we are deploying to this index.html. Okay. So this is what and if it is succeeded, then it will be create this instance. And if it is a fail, then it will throw an error. Okay, guys. So let's copy this and put it to this. Let's move here. And let us give the author name. Gmail.com. Okay, so our source code management and our code is already in that AWS now. Okay, in the code format. Okay, guys. So next, what our step? We need to create a build basically. So let's go to the build. Let us create a project build project. And in this build project, we need to give the instruction like which, uh, like from where you want to build this project, right? Source you need to specify basically, okay? Cloud Tech build project, something like that. I am giving the name and source. I am going to give the AWS code commit. And here we have a repository name also need to specify. And if you have one use branch also, like multiple branch, then give the branch name. And if you want any specific commit you want to deploy, then specify the commit ID also. Okay, guys, on demand, manage EC2, everything keep as it is. Image ID, image layout, everything I am giving as it is. Auto discover, everything. Okay, so let's try it here. I don't have any. And this is the CloudWatch log. I will show you how, why, how it will be logged. Okay, so let's do that. And build command. Okay, here if you I have two things. Either you can specify your build aspect like YAML format file, which I have just now created, or if you want, you can specify it manually also. Okay, so let us select our build aspect file here itself. Okay, so let's give our file name same only here. So let's copy and paste here. Set. Okay. Let's go here. Now build project is created. Okay, guys. And if you go here settings, you can see here nothing is there. Notification also nothing is there. Okay. Now let's go to the pipeline here. Let's go here in pipeline. Now let us create a code pipeline here. So let's give the demo. code pipeline cp and let's select everything default and this is the im role it is going to create okay guys and let's come here as once what on let's keep everything as it is okay and if you have any existing role you can select that so let us create for today's demo new role and go to the next and here source provider we need to specify that and source code is there and specify the repository name select the branch name and let's keep everything default as it is and then build provider so AWS code build and let's give the build name and let's keep everything default and if you want deploy stage you can skip or you can add let's keep this and now everything is ready so create the pipeline as soon as you create the pipeline right it is try to create the EC2 instance so let me show you that or EC2 dashboard now I don't have any EC2 instance if you see here. If you see here, nothing I have, okay? So once our pipeline is successfully run, right? It will create an EC2 instance. So let's try here. Let's see. It 
is in deploying stage, like it's a build, and it will run that uh, Python script also, okay, guys? So it is in progress. It's created. I guess some permission issue will come because we need to give this pipeline permission that uh, EC2 create EC2 permission we need to give. Let's see. It is in progress still in this side if you see right build in progress right now build succeeded oh my goodness very good let's see running 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 install successful error of creating see build successful there is no issue with the build but if you see here error on the issue to unauthorized operation error occur while calling the run instance right you don't have the permission to run this and our role is this one okay guys cloud code will adopt this this code will adopt this don't have the sufficient permission like to run the ec2 instance okay guys so let's go to the im role here let's come here im role and let's go to the role search this role and come here and add the permission EC2 full access I am going to give, okay guys. As per your need, you can give full access, read access, write access, whatever you want, you can give. This code build, this don't have actually EC2 creation permission, okay guys. So now I gave that permission. So let us try again, okay. So this is the error we have seen here. Okay. So let us try again. What we can do, release the change again. It will take two couple of seconds, it will complete. Okay, so let us see. Code commit is done, build is in progress. You can see here details also. Now, running command pip install. To this kind of running command, installing Boto3 SDK dependency, these are the or from our code only. That uh, build spec I have specified, right? This one. So installation is done. Warning running pip as a root user, you can result broken permission config systems. Now successful running command demo creating EC2 instance. Okay. Now here it is started, started you no know, all argument converted during this string. Now argument this one create instance web application. Create an instance with the web application. This one and this is the instance ID. So let's come here and let's see. See our EC2 instance is came here and it is created also successfully. If you see here, created the message logger message, right? Created the EC2 instance with this instance ID. Created this web application, right? And this is the instance ID. Let us check that instance ID here. See here, this is the instance ID. Okay, now. Let's come here this instance and let's copy this public IP and paste over here. See, welcome to AWS CI CD pipeline, deploy a web application. So this is how we can create like simple web application by using AWS code pipeline and whatever authorization error we have seen that also we can resolve. Okay guys, so I hope this session will be helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys, then I will request you guys. Please share surrounding with your friend and please subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt feel free to reach out to me by putting your comment in this video comment section. I will definitely address that. Okay guys. Chalo see you in my next video. Bye.